Okay, so this news is an absolute game changer for who? A couple of different companies, Goshon High Tech and Volkswagen. And actually for the entire electric vehicle industry, but in particular for those two, boy, oh boy, is this news incredibly exciting, alarming, game-changing. Where do we start? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for... Actually, thank you all for supporting my boys' channel. They really appreciate your support. They're totally stoked. I'm going to have some new videos going up soon. My eight-year-old Jack, he recently went into the Tasmanian State titles and he won that race. He's stoked about that. We'll have a video of our road trip up on their channel soon. I'll put a link in the description below to their YouTube channel. If you want to check out my boys and me going on um, some road trips, you can get on that channel and subscribe there. Goshon High Tech. have been working on two different things. One of those, lithium ion phosphate batteries. The second, semi-solid state batteries. Now, why do these things matter? You're like, yeah, whatever, everyone's working on batteries. Well, for starters, lithium ion phosphate batteries are a game changer. Oh uh, yeah, they really are. And Goshon High Tech plan on providing somebody with 200 gigawatt hours per year, 200 gigawatt hours per year of LFP batteries. Now, you all know about that news because I talked about it in a recent video and I'll put a link in the description below to that video. But the real big news that we've just found out is that they will be mass producing this year their semi-solid state batteries. This is not hype. This is not a news story to get you to click and go, oh, this is exciting and it never happens. This is real. This product is real. This product has been tested and used already in cars. This is not clickbait. Goshon High Tech will mass manufacture this year lithium ternary batteries with an energy density of 360 watt per kilo. This will mean that manufacturers, of course, Volkswagen, I'm sure will take full advantage of this because they own almost a third of this company, will be able to provide EVs that easily have a range of over 1,000 kilometers per charge. 360 watt per kilo. That is a massive difference versus what most manufacturers are using now. The industry average is around 210 to 220 watts per kilo for ternary batteries. I mean, more than likely, that's the battery chemistry that you're seeing right now in GM's Ultium Super Duper Special Ultra Transformer World batteries, right? I joke about that because the marketing coming from those guys is just through the roof. Ultium of technology, Ultium Super Duper. It's not really that Super Duper compared to these. Sorry, it's not. Just isn't. The energy density is going to be nowhere near this. Why is this a game changer? Well, and for example, this could mean if you're a manufacturer, right, rather than putting in a huge battery pack of 100 kilowatt hour into your car, you can put in a 60 kilowatt hour pack and still have a huge range using these batteries, right? Then the weight of that pack would be substantially lower versus say a 100 kilowatt hour pack. That would add to the range. So you're going to put in a smaller pack with much more range than you currently can. This is going to change the industry Whoever works with Goshon High Tech, Volkswagen, yeah, big game changer for them. Now imagine if Volkswagen started using these batteries in their cars because they own 30% of this car company. Imagine the advantage that they would have over the competition. It would be a game changing advantage. There is just like, imagine like you walked into a dealer to buy a Volkswagen ID3. They said, you said to them, what's the range? And they said, 700 kilometers, right? And they said, what's the, you said, what's the price? And they're like, uh, you know, 5% more than the other version. That's what's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. Goshon High Tech here, by working on something that was feasible, feasible. Semi-solid state batteries are totally feasible. They're realistic. We've seen production of these products. They're not solid state. Solid state is still years away. It may never happen. This product is here now. It works. Now, the thing is, the scary part about all of this is this 360 watt per kilo product, it's already being like mass used within the company. This mass production is happening now, but, but, but they have a newer version that is 400 watts per kilo. That means their newer version is double the energy density of today's lithium ternary batteries. Double. I mean, put it this way, right? BYD's LFP batteries are about 140 watt per kilo. You're talking triple that energy density. Imagine the range of a car with a 400 watt per kilo battery. This will change the industry. I mean, Goshon High Tech, once they're able to mass produce those batteries with 400 watts per kilo, which I'm sure will happen within 12 months, that's how things happen in China. They don't take 10 years. They do things at lightning speed. 
Now, Goshon and Volkswagen have jointly developed first generation of ternary lithium and LFP battery cells for mass production. And Goshon is currently working with Volkswagen's German team to develop cells for Europe, Zhang said. Well, Zhang is the, the dude who's in charge of Goshon. And basically, Volkswagen are kind of saying, huh, we didn't say much for a while. We didn't do what GM does and blab every five minutes. We were pretty quiet about this. But what we're about to do is blow your freaking minds with 400 watt per kilo energy density? Wow. I mean, what can you say about that? Now, who are their customers? Well, Neo. Neo is one of their first customers. Neo bought solid state batteries into the discussion when they have unveiled their flagship electric vehicle sedan, the Neo ET7 at the Neo Day 2020 event on January the 9th, 2021, saying the model will have a 150 kilowatt hour semi solid state battery in the future, giving it an NEDC range of over 1000 kilometers. Speaking at a forum at the 2021 World Manufacturing Congress on November the 20th last year, Goshan chairman Li Zhen said the company semi-solid state battery, which it will supply to a local manufacturer of high-end pure electric vehicles. Neo achieves a range of more than 1,000 kilometers. This is a big car, by the way. This car that we're talking about here is 5.1 meters long. It's massive. Now, clearly, Lee didn't say who they're working with, but it's clearly Neo. Everyone knows it. It's uh, just a... Uh, and a, a secret and unspoken, it's just an obvious fact that that's what's going on, right? Now, on March the 27th, Beijing's battery company, We Lion New Energy Tech, confirmed that it is also working on semi solid state batteries and it's also going to be working with Neo. We Lion is working with Neo on a plan to launch a hybrid solid liquid electrolyte battery with a range of 1,000 kilometers. And that pack will have a capacity of 150 kilowatt hours and an energy density also of 360 watts per kilo. So here's another Chinese electric battery company, which has also been able to achieve 360 watts per kilo. Now, Goshan High Tech, it's not a small company. It's one of China's largest battery companies. It is fourth largest in China with a 5.3% market share, according to data released by the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance on May the 11th. So what is it? What's going on, right? There's two battery companies. With energy density in their ternary batteries of 360 watt per kilo, the next generation versions will have 400 watts per kilo. In addition to that, the new lithium iron phosphate batteries coming out from multiple suppliers by the end of the year will have 230 watt per kilo energy density, which is higher than current lithium ternary batteries. What does this all mean? This means within the space of only a few years, battery sizes will be able to significantly decrease. Car ranges will significantly increase. The cost of the car to you will go down. I mean, we're already at parity in China with electric cars versus internal combustion engine cars. This will enable packs to be smaller. This will enable prices to decrease. Honestly, we live in an exciting times. This is some exciting innovation going on. It's happening right in front of our eyes. Isn't a great time to be alive. What a fantastic, fantastic period in history to be living on the planet. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.